Umbrella's good. <laughs> cool. You're your own umbrella guy. <laughs> yeah. It's too hot, yeah. So we're back. We're back at Pikes Peak. Yeah, we are back. This time, you guys don't have an electric vehicle. No, we're back to a gas car. But yeah. this is something true to your heart. Yeah. It's something a, that you love. Yeah, it's a, it's a representation of Evasive. This is the car we uh, started with. So then, uh, last time we were together, we had a chance to feature your S2000R, yep. which is something that you guys at Evasive Motorsports, um, you guys actually want to build, yeah. um, and you want to make it available to the public. Now, what we're looking at here, I would essentially say is the race version, because this says S2000RS. Yep. So this is even just taking it to the next level even yeah. Past the S2000R. <laughs> this is like the most extreme version in our mind of the S2000. So yeah, this is purely race. Nothing on this car is really left untouched. So no. I'm surprised because has there ever been another S2000 run up Pikes Peak? Do you remember? Uh, yeah, the Project Import, they ran their S2000 maybe last year. Yeah, uh -huh. so. And yeah. then now there's two. There's two, yeah. <laughs> and they're both orange. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. All right. So then you guys have the ultimate wheelman, Dayu Shihara, our mutual friend driving this. Yep. He, he drove the Tesla, and before that, he drove the FRS. Yeah. Yeah, the 86. And then uh, this will be his fifth year, I think. Yeah. But he's pretty comfortable behind the wheel of S2000 because he's actually driven a version of this in time attack yeah yeah so he drove this car last year at button willow he was able to set a pretty fast time since then till now the car has gotten even easier and better to drive so i think he's he's pretty confident yeah so what have you guys done to update this for pike speak what did uh, you guys change? So from the outside, we have uh, added more downforce. So the rear wing uh, before is a single element. Now it's a dual element for more downforce. Made by Voltex. Made by Voltex, Japan. The car has gone through, I can't really see it, but a little bit of a diet. So we cut away a lot of the non-structural parts from the car. But then we added all the way back with <laughs> for cooling and other stuff for Pikes Peak. So. The car now uses a, uh, a paddle shift system, sequential. Oh, cool. Yeah, so he's able to keep both his, his hands on the steering wheel, and I think that's pretty critical for something like Pikes Peak, where a lot of shifting is involved. Uh-huh. Yeah. All right, so then um, arrow-wise, uh, yeah. besides the wing, is there anything else that you guys updated for Pikes Peak? Um, not really, actually. Most of it is the same as last year. All of this stuff? Yeah, this is the same. We, we do have a optional front wing that we have not installed. It's not needed at this, at this moment, but uh, other than that, it's pretty similar to last year except for, for the more downforce rear wing. Let, let's talk about what's carbon and yeah. um, just tell me about the kit in general. So the kit is uh, made by Voltex. Uh, it's called the version three circuit version for the S2000. You can see the whole underside of the kit is all carbon fiber and the whole belly is actually flat and there's actually a tunnel underneath with a uh, connection to the rear diffuser. This kit is actually developed in the wind tunnel by Voltex. So it comes with the, you know, obviously the, the under, the splitter, the rear diffuser, the hood. The hood is carbon oh, too. It, this is all this is part Voltex. of it. This is Voltex as well. Oh, you guys didn't actually add any of this stuff. No, 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 mm. this is all a whole package. And mm -hmm. then obviously the white, white fenders, the side skirts, uh, the rear little spoiler you see. Right this there. is crazy. This yeah. design is insane. Yeah, yeah. So then I'm surprised that they, if they made this kit, I'm assuming this is all dry carbon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, yeah. Like, how is it that there's enough of a market for this? You'd be surprised. I mean, we, we actually sold like maybe six of these kits and they retail for 30,000 per kit. So it's not, not the cheapest kit, yeah. So. But it's functional. Totally, 100%, yeah. This is so crazy. And so, this is part of the kit too, this open yeah, fender? Yeah, the fender, this is Voltex as well, the wing. 
I love this little shelf. Yeah. So cool. Yeah. So then how much wider is it versus stock? I think the front is about 50 mil wider each side and the rear is about 60 mil wider. So pretty wide. Uh, and then, you know, we're, we're, we have 18 by 11s on this car all around with some pretty good sized slicks too, so. So then what, how wide are the slicks? Uh, it's 280 in the front and 300 in the back. Oh, yeah, pretty, okay. Pretty big. <laughs> huh. Yeah. Can we take a look under the hood? Yeah. I love this design element so much. So is the front bumper a Voltex bumper yep, too? Yep, everything's Voltex, yeah. Jeez. All right. Uh-oh. Be careful. Yeah. I don't want this to run yeah, away. I'm holding it. All right. So what, what are we looking at here in terms of? So this is a uh, F22C, like an AP2 S2000 engine. Uh, it's been stroked to a 2.4 liter. Uh, the internals are actually all made by Toyota Racing. It's actually a very high compression engine. And we managed to turbo it. Uh, it is a dry sump oiling system. And also we have, you know, a bunch of HKS bits, the HKS turbo, HKS wastegate. The car makes about 650 to the wheels. And it's um, really quick spooling because of the high compression. So what made you guys want to bring the S2000 back? Or what made you want to bring S2000 in general? Because um, you still have the FRS. We have all of the cars, but to be honest, we always dreamed about bringing this car to Pikes Peak. It's just, we feel like it was never ready or never capable enough, but after the recent development within the past couple of years on this car, we felt like it's finally time to bring it and then to be able to, you know, lay down some uh, solid times, yeah. So, and then also, unlike the S2000R, this doesn't have a K-Series engine. This still has an F-Series. Yeah, it's still an S2000 engine, yeah. And what, what's the reasoning behind that? I think this car, we always developed it with the S2000 engine for the track. And, you know, it went through a few different phases. At first, it was like a super, supercharged S2000. It wasn't enough power, so we moved to a turbo. And this car has always been something to showcase what we can do with, you know, the S2000 platform with the original S2000 engine. That's why I didn't want to switch it to anything else. So, mm. yeah. And KW suspension? Yep, KW uh, Motorsport dampers three ways. And, uh, and then another thing we added was the Bosch uh, ABS. Oh, yeah, so that was that's really important. Super important, yeah. So we were so able to. Yeah, the, it's really bumpy up there. So like, we want to make sure when he's on the brakes. It doesn't so he could just car. slam on it. Yeah, and, yeah, and it'll carry, stop yeah. really fast. Exactly. Huh. Yeah. So then, um, does it have traction control too? It does. It does. So the car is on a Moltec ECU, and you know everything's Moltec. So we do have traction control, and I can show you on the steering wheel later. He can actually adjust everything on the all the settings on the fly. So yeah, let's check that out right now. Yeah. So then, what class is this? Uh, we're running an open class. And then, what class is the other S2000 in? Uh, I think there are in unlimited. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yo, it is tight in here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what is this? Uh, that's a tank water sprayer for uh, intercooler and you know all the heat exchangers, just in case it gets too hot. It automatically kicks on. And then that's the tank and For compressor. the pneumatic shifter, so that's the uh, air compressor and the air tank for the uh, air shifting, paddle shift, yeah. And then what is this filter or what is this pump for? That's uh, for the water? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, okay, and yeah. then what transmission is it then? We're running a Samsonas 6 b uh, Obviously we have a pneumatic shifter attached to it. And you see the steering wheel, this is something we added new this year too. We have the Bosch, Bosch ABS selector here. You could turn it off or you could turn it on. And then uh, we have the traction control settings. This is so cool. Yeah. So that I can just focus on driving and if he has to make any changes, his hands will not come off the wheel. Amazing. Yeah. Really, really cool. Traction control, TC range. Yeah. I can't believe this is on an S2000. <laughs> I love it. Yeah. That is so, so neat. And does that actually work, the boost up and boost down button? It does, yeah, it does. So if you need more power, you just go boost There's, up? There's uh, five different boost settings. So uh -huh. if he really wants to, he can just crank it up <laughs> in the car. Amazing. Yeah. I love that you guys retain the stock e-brake. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I guess you have to. Yeah, I kind of have to. Yeah, there's no other way. What, what a wonder. I love it. You guys really went all out on this. Yeah, yeah. Huh. So cool. Do you think this will run faster 
than uh, the FRS? We think so. It, it's uh, it has it definitely has a potential. It's lighter. It's just it has you know a, a, a really good combination of parts, and obviously the aero package is just way better than the 86. So yeah. Hmm. Well, good luck. I always love being able to see what you guys are up to, you know, because it's it's um, a relatability thing. You know, you guys are of my generation, and it's just really cool to see a team like Evasive up there, you know, competing with the biggest and best. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we cool. try. And of course, it's always a good time hanging out with Dai. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well, yeah. good luck. Thank you. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to support us directly, go to LarryChenPrints.com. I print and sign every single one of these. This is the perfect gift or it's the perfect piece of art for your wall.